It's okay. And then um, this thing might stop working because it runs out of capacity. We won't be real long either. We got to get back. Teresa Smith, right? T-E-R-R-I. -R -R -I. Oh, you go. I, I, I had. My restaurant's called Teresa's Kitchen. Terry Smith. Okay. And how do you spell it? T-E-R-R-I-E. -R -R oh, okay. Um, you you all set, Ron? I'm running. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm Mark Anderson with American Free Press, and here I'm at on, on Sunday, December 10th. I'm in Sutherland Springs, Texas at the Valero across the street from the First Baptist Church where the November 5 shooting happened, carried out, uh, as police say, by Devin, Devin Patrick Kelly. And I'm talking with Terry Smith, who's a food vendor uh, during the week here at the Valero. And, uh, and Terry, thanks for meeting with me today on short notice. I appreciate it. I just thought, because my editor and, and uh, just for the sake of accuracy, uh, wanted me to get a first-hand account rather than just repeating what's in the other press, I thought you might recap, since you're one of the, these things out already, I thought you might recap, um, since you're one of the few people that actually saw a degree of what happened, um, what you saw that day, just kind of give me a run through, uh, so I have an accurate account firsthand rather than secondhand. We had just pulled up um, to pump number three, and we were parked right, just like what that red vehicle is, but on this side. And, uh, you weren't working that day in your no, food thing? No, we closed on Sundays, so it was our normal start of the day. Um, my fiance and I had just gotten off the vehicle when uh, an SUV was coming this way from that other store, and he made a quick U-turn right in front and pulled in okay. on 539 that way. With his back end facing? Yes, uh -huh, with the back end facing. And, um, and he, he caught our attention because of the way he... Did he approach coming the other way on 539 no, and then sir. came? He was coming from that other store. On 87. He had just left that other store. Oh, he left that store, pulled in, did a U-turn, and then was facing you. No, sir. He made a U-turn right there. He was going south. Yeah. And he made a U-turn like that and went oh. down 539. Oh, like that? Yes. Okay, I see. He came from that way. All right, I understand. And he pulled up right across the street, you see, for the... That sign is where that yellow sign is. Mm -hmm. He parked up a little bit further up. Mm -hmm. Maybe where that red car is? You see the no, red? No, a little bit behind it. Oh, Just okay. Like two or three car lanes? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. And, um, and he got off the vehicle. And that's when he started shooting. Um, from this vantage point, what could you see of the act of shooting? Uh, he started as soon as he got off his vehicle. He started shooting towards. You see where the sign that says First Baptist Church. He was shooting that way, and he, of course, that tent was not there. Yes. Any of that. Um, so he just went shooting. He went running forward towards the building and kept on shooting. And then he kept on shooting all the way around. He went around the building. See that side building right there? Mm -hmm. He went all. He shot all the way around. He made a complete circle all the way around. He went all the way around the building? Yeah, he shot the whole outside first. Um, where were you standing when I that happened? I was standing right there. I was standing right there. When we saw that when he was shooting up there, we had customers right here, so we were telling them to get down. And when we couldn't see him anymore, and then he came around that way. When he was coming around that way, we had already crawled our way over here. And he went all the way around. When so, he was on that other side. So by that time, you felt a little insecurity oh, to yeah, where you weren't so close watching. Oh, you, yes. it, were you down outside the building oh, yeah, still? Yeah, we crawled from out there this way. When we, when he came, when he was around this side, he, we were still, we hadn't made it to the door yet. But you never went inside. You stayed outside. No, no, no. We ended up coming in. Oh, you did. Okay, I'm we sorry. Ended coming, we ended up coming in. It was us and the other customers that were there, and another lady that was over there. And uh, we were flag the people that were pulling in. We were flagging them to to please leave. And um, and he he made all the way all the way around that way. And then uh, we made it in. So I ran this. I ran over here to this side right here to see. And that's when it got real quiet. And then he just ran. Like he went to his vehicle and then he ran straight to the church. 
You mean after he did the complete circle, uh -huh. he went back to his vehicle uh -huh. again? Yeah. And then went, apparently, inside. Yes. <clears throat> which is on the other side of the building. Yes. Because uh -huh. we, we did a little quick run around. That took about how long, everything you've said yeah, so far from... I just, I just had to so quickly. Realistically, though, how long do you think it took to go everything that you said, the station, the U-turn, the, 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 the complete... I want to say it was one to ten or fifteen minutes at the most. It, so it took ten to fifteen minutes at the most for him to go around the building before he went inside. Interesting. That's quite a, quite a period of time, given what happened. Um, is there anything else you remember? Uh, he ran towards the, the church. And, and then you started hearing all of these shots, all of these shots, rapid shots. When, when he got to the front, which is the other side, and you're no longer hearing open air shots, did you hear muffled? Yes, but they were loud, sir. They Still loud. loud. See, we don't have this traffic that's here. This is very rare. Even Our today? Oh, yeah. It, it, on a normal Sunday, it's very quiet. Is it because there's increased public curiosity? Yes. Or? Yes. Well, sure. There's a lot yes. of oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> but nevertheless, you would have heard a, I'm, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I'm assuming you would hear a louder open air kind of uh, report from the gun outside going all the way around the building. You were saying all the way around the, the, yeah, see, those, the supplemental those, those structure too, right? Were, no, those buildings are not there. Those that were just put in. This one right here, the brown one. Yeah. That one's there. He came around all the way around. That he went shooting all the way around. But the full length of the existing church building. <clears throat> yes. Okay. So then, did it sound a little more muted then when he was in the building, it's, or it's was it hard to differentiate? It still sounded really loud. But the entire event until, did you see him speed away with Lang yes. Langendorf yes. chasing him? Yes, I did. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, because when he when he was in there, one of the victims came running from that side, and he came running across the field, and he had his arms up like this. He had blood on his arms and, and on the side of his face, and we recognized him. But then everybody was in here, right? You know, sheltering them, and I recognized he was one of our customer's sons. So we opened the door to him, and uh, he just said, "He said somebody's in the church. They're shooting. They're shooting." My family's in there, and he just collapsed right there on the floor. Mm. So, so you, you had some quote-unquote refugees in here. Oh, yeah. The, How many the, would you just say? Just that one. Just, just that, that one person that who one. had the uh, evident blood. He was the only one <coughs> that came running out, that, that came running this way. And what were his, his exact words, is he the said, best you can uh, recollect? He said, somebody's in the church. They, they're shooting everybody in the church. My family's in there. My family's in there. Mm. I see. Did he make it? Mm. Yes, yes, yeah. Good, good. Yeah. And what happened, he wasn't shot directly, the bullets, he was caught in between. Mm. And as he was shooting on the outside, the bullets were like... It's grazing. Shooting. Yeah, grazing. Yeah. Um, but, do you know his name? Uh, Kyle. I, I know him as Kip's son. Kip's son, Kyle. Do you, do you mind if I get the last name? Or? Coleman, I think. Coleman, C O L E M A N. Local resident? I could be. Wrong. Church parishioner? Yes. Oh, yeah. A regular parishioner? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> interesting. Very, very interesting. So when when we brought him in, then I, I ran back to this corner to see if I could see anything, and then you heard some more shots. And then you heard a different kind of shot. Like you heard his shots that were constant, like da 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 da. And then you heard das, das, das. And that was when the, the oh, what do you call his name? The older man came running after him. Williford. Yes. And <coughs> he right where he went running to the to the car, and I don't know if he hit him directly or what, but he dropped his his rifle, and he got in, in his SUV and he made a U-turn this way. And by then, uh, the younger man had pulled in, and he had waved the younger man down. And where did which direction did Langendorf come from when he when Langendorf first approached? He pulled in this way. Coming in this way. Uh -huh. yes. <coughs> and pulled in there. Hanging a left. Yes. <coughs> then he would have picked up Williford and done a U-turn, and then they went yes. off that way, right? No, they came this way down 539. Oh, they went way. 539. Uh -huh. Ron and I were debating that. Mm -hmm. We didn't yeah. know. Yeah, 539. For about seven miles, I think they yes. said, at 95 right, miles an right hour. Right when he, where that car's right there, 
right when when he reached that point right there, he lost control for a little bit, and his we saw his whole window shatter, and then they they chased him down that way. But, but they did go friends. that yes. they, they went north on yes. five thirty nine. Yeah, interesting. Very interesting. Um, yeah. I'm just reflecting on. See, I'm so glad I, I did what my editor asked me to do because what you're telling me now is just so much more complete and visual than what you read in like, USA Today or something. It, it just gives me a better understanding of the tragedy. Um, the, the part of the building, do you go to this church? I've been <coughs> in it. I don't, I'm not a member of it. The, the part that's not like the main sanctuary where they have worship that part that extends out that he ran Those all the way the around. Classes. Yeah, he ran all the way around that part too, right? Yeah, so that's Sunday school and miscellaneous offices. And he figured they were in their classes. Oh. That's the only thing I can think of is why, why, why did he go around all the building? And when this young man came running out and he was grazed, he was grazed because he was on the ground because the shots were coming from the outside into the building. Did he say that, or was that just evidently the case? No, it's just... Okay. So, in other words, it was clear that Kyle, it, from your understanding, Kyle was not shot inside the church when the gunman entered. He was shot from a bullet that entered from the outside. Did he say that? It was grazed from the outside. <clears throat> that, that's what he said, from an external. Okay, grazed from the outside, okay. Um, as I say, we went and looked at the church and, and paid our respects and, and said a quick prayer. Um, how long did it take before evidently contractors got here to patch the place up? Um, I want to say a week, not even a week's time. Uh, Were they highly visible, the contractors? Because I know they no, had police tape no, around they, it. Uh, they put a wall. They, they covered everything and they put a wall. You couldn't see it? No, you couldn't go in. And, you couldn't see it. How high was the wall, would you say? Um, I want to say maybe about this high. The top of those bars? Oh, so from the ground, uh, about six, six and a half feet tall. But enough to obscure the view of the general property. Yeah, so like. at least to see the top part of the church. That's when they repaired the building? Yeah, that's when it was when, behind the wall? As soon as everything started, uh, when they started removing the injured. And oh, yeah. Then mm -hmm. they brought, so um, you're figuring it was a, started about a week afterwards? Well, no, it, it or less than a week. The evident repairs, that is. The Nikki, the memorial was set up. It was the second day. The candlelight. No, the the church. The church. Okay. It was what? the next week. It was like a week after. Okay, because Joanna's rosary. And then that weekend. So the night of Joanna's Rosary, I remember I went. Mm -hmm. So that was already, what, the second day? Third day, <coughs> maybe? I'm sorry, is that well, maybe Joanna's, Joanna's funeral was a week after. Well, how long before the wall went up? Let's just put it that way. How long did it take them to put up the wall? They put up the wall right away. Okay, I'm going to say the second day. Like 48 hours yeah. or so? Yes. Okay, so therefore it's hard to say exactly when the contractors came yes. in. Do you know who did the prepare work? No. Uh, it wasn't very long after, I know that. Uh, it had to have been like a day, right? Yeah, it wasn't very long because they set it up at the ballpark and then they come over here and started setting this one. Yeah, they, they sure did a good job. It, it just looks... Everything up. ran very good. Oh yeah, it's beautiful in there. It, 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 I'm talking about the outside. We didn't go inside. Yeah. Yeah. If you can, I invite you to go inside. Okay. That's we understood it was after the church service is over, you can go inside. Is that correct? And that's going on right now, right? Yes, yes, it's still going on. All right. It's 11. They'd be done by what, 12 15, 12 30? About a half hour. Uh, anything else? Um, I mean, just to recap, he comes from that way. He, tur uh, he yeah, turns. He 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 Mark's right there across the street. He was facing that way. I know, I had eyes he on him. He gets down and he really starts shooting. As soon as he got off his vehicle, he starts shooting. Immediately. Yeah. And goes all the way around, spending about 10 minutes. Yeah, I no, I want to say everything happened in the 10 minute span. From yeah, where counting we saw that. Him right there, yeah. He 
he um he just kept on shooting around but he was like real fast you know like a not like running but a real fast walk i'm assuming that pulling up and doing the ue and parking would it would have been a Pretty quick. That would have happened in a pretty tight time frame. So most of that 10 minutes evidently was either him going out of his car and going around and shooting or returning to his car before he went inside. All of that plus... Because when we saw him get down there, mm -hmm. I remember seeing, I remember seeing shininess, like going down his shirt and, and that was that holster he had. And I remember seeing him jerking. Like, like the nylon catching the sun type thing? Yeah. Not metal necessarily. Yeah. Oh, had, metal. He had a strap. He had a... Oh. From his lips, I was it bullets? It was, you know, it was bullets in a belt. Okay. So the entirety of this was like 10 or 12 minutes from start to finish, everything that happened. But just to make clear, he when he got done going around the building for part of that 10 or 12 minute period, he went back to his vehicle and then back to the church again to go inside. Evidently, we don't want to put words in your mouth or assume anything, maybe to get more ammo. We don't know. You know, we, we can only guess at that part. Um, you had um, co-workers corroborate what you're saying now, too? You were with some people during the entirety of this My with fiance. you. So your fiancé saw everything you saw? Yeah, he, he was taking care of the young man that collapsed here. Um, okay. I was the one that kept running this way to the corner right here to, to see um, Nikki was here that day, but she was back there. You know, we, we kind of kept everybody back there, you know, because we didn't know if it was more than one or, or we didn't know. Yeah, at the time, right. Yeah, well, we didn't know. It just happened very quickly. And like I said, there was no, there was no traffic. There was. That, that was the only thing that was happening, apart from the vehicle, a couple of vehicles pulling in to, to get gas, and, and we kept telling them to, to leave. Mm -hmm. you know, we kept waving them to, to go. <coughs> interesting, very interesting. This we've kind of we've seen a magazine article with the interior of the building all painted white it's and everything. Beautiful. It's really pretty. It's We're going to go see that. So that was all done while the wall was still up? Yes. Is that right? Yes. Interesting. Yes, because uh, yeah. of course the law enforcement people were here for a long time. Did they say why they days. put up a wall? Just to... For the privacy because they, oh, yeah, they public. had to... Mm -hmm. it, there was too many casualties inside. And oh, that was still when they were cleaning oh, up yeah. the worst of it. Oh, yeah. Not oh, yeah. The, okay. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Yeah, there was too many casualties. Okay. Um, can you think of any other questions, Ron? No, no. Um, I got your number in case that anything else yeah. pops in my head, and we do got to get back to Sabine, and I got to get back to the valley. Um, my wife's babysitting today. Um, I'm just trying. To, I'm just reflecting a moment to see if there's anything else I can think of. You want to hang around and go in the building? We might as well just yeah, to pay so. our respects. Yeah. It's beautiful in there. It, it, it hits we never you. saw it before, of course. It, it was a very simple, simple little church. Plain. plain. What, was the inside used to be brown or something, and now it's white? No. Is that right? No. Just taking a guess. They, they, they painted it all white. The chairs are white. And, uh, Is it the same the kind church. of chairs they had? They just painted them white? Oh, they yeah. got different chairs. No, okay. They got some, uh, some white yeah. chairs, and they're placed exactly where they were sitting at. I see. And those are the only chairs that are in there. Just oh. the white chairs. Is it? Do you know whether it's accurate to assume that if, if the chair is not white, that somebody was still sitting there? In other words, how many, 26 were killed, 10 wounded, according to reports. Do you know how many people the church holds, and was it full that day? It wasn't full. It was not full? No. There was about 57 people in there. 57? Easy to remember. I just turned 57. 57. Yeah, because there was... Um, so 26 didn't have 26 pews. is... Uh, 58, so about half. 26 um, passed away. 20 were severely injured. And I thought they said 10. Okay. No. no. Uh, and no. Uh, did they have pews in the church, or was it like individual they chairs? Used, they used to have pews. 
They used to have pews. Yeah. So they took the pews out and put in the individual only chairs where people... Designated where they were yeah. sitting at exactly. Oh, so man. you sounded pretty firm at 57, so if 26 killed, because that's almost some... exactly half died. Yeah. And then more injured. 57, okay. Mm -hmm. so it sounds like that it maybe holds 70 or something. You said it wasn't quite full. Okay. It's a small church. Wow. Something else. Was the weather man. much like today? Oh, it was a beautiful day. It was very clear. Just like this or even clearer? Oh, yeah, even clearer. It was, it was a pretty day. So no rain or storms obscuring anything, uh, obscuring your view, no fog. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Just, like I said. How long's that tent been out there, do you know? Uh, they brought it, first it was set up at the ballpark. Because that's where they were having the services. Which is down that road yeah, or down, down this way? Down, if you go to where the church is, you turn to the right, you'll see the community building in the next block. There's our tree of angels where we set up all the angels for all down the Down that angels. way? This way. This way. Uh -huh. All right, we'll, we'll do that and then we'll swing back and go inside, pay our respects and head back. All right. Very good. Okay, thank you, Teresa. Yes, it's thank you very much. It's lovely to on short notice. And, um, that's about it. Yeah. This, this thing always died. If I saw a UFO, this thing would die if I was quoting the leader. <laughs> okay. Now, a, a quick, little, quick little bio. I know it's it's a little bit uh, sensitive, but do you mind if I ask your age? I am 54. I am going to be 55. You're young, yeah. Life. You're just out of high school. Look at this. And you're originally from San Benito? I'm originally from Port Isabel. Port Isabel. Excuse me. I knew a lady that lived out there. I love to go out there and get the uh, fresh caught shrimp on the island. And um, how long have you lived and worked in Sutherland Five, Springs? Ten years. ten years here. Can you make this your home now? Yes. Okay. <coughs> you went to Port Isabel High School, probably. Yes, I'm a tarpon. <laughs> yeah, the, the water tower is still there. Port Isabel tarpons, yeah, yeah. My wife just had an all all classes reunion that covered like 20 years. It was crazy. We went. We had ours last year in the Ronnie Dunn from Brooks and Dunn. Yes. He was a little rinky dinky guy that lived kind of corner to my house. Oh my from gosh. Ago. And uh, he was the one we would shoo away, you know. <laughs> and so uh, his sister Renee um, was in my class, and Ronnie was, of course, in another class, but we were, we're all the same age. And so they started the caravan. He started it from Tennessee, a big old Winnebago picking up the boys. And she started it from Alabama picking up the girls. And so we all, they went picking up all the classmates and we made it. Yeah, not far from Freddie Fender's old stopping grounds okay. too. <laughs> Freddie Fender's dad, <laughs> Freddie Fender's dad, Valdemar Huerta. Freddie Fender's Valdemar Huerta. His dad's name is Manuel Lona. Manuel. My grandma, Santos Vasquez, and Manuel Don were brother and sister. Jeez. <laughs> well, Ron and I are both drummers looking Pretty for work. Cool. And, right, Ron, we're really here to look for work as drummers. <laughs> That's right. Is there any openings? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. We're both drummers, but, you know. <laughs>